Magandang araw mga bata! Welcome to Teacher Marles Channel kung saan maraming matututunan sa lesson na ating pag-aaralan. Our subject is Science 6 and I am Teacher Mar. Okay children, I have here prepared a picture of an apple and an apple pie. What did you notice from the picture? Correct! There is a transformation happens. The apple becomes an apple pie if we bake it. Did you notice a transformation happens from being a simple apple to a delicious apple pie? Okay, very good! Today, we will study on how energy change from one form to another. But before that, let me remind you that at the end of the lesson, you must be able to, number one, infer that energy can be transformed from one form to another. Number two, demonstrate how heat can be transformed into light energy, light energy into heat, and electrical energy into sound energy. And number three is to appreciate the different energy transformation. Okay, so today, we are going to study energy transformation. So last time, we discussed what is energy and its different forms. So let us refresh our minds about that. Okay, so when we say energy, Energy is all around us and energy is the ability of an object to do work. Now, let us try to remember the different forms of energy. So, heat, light, and sound, and electrical are all forms of energy. Now, let us proceed with our lesson by defining what is energy transformation. Now, let us define what is energy transformation? Energy transformation, also known as energy conversion. It is the process of changing energy from one form to another. Energy transfer refers to the movement of energy from one place to another. Now, let us think of the electricity that flows from your wall socket and then moves through a charger and into a battery. The energy is being transferred from the wall socket to the battery so that people can enjoy using their phones or any other gadgets. What are some examples of energy transformation? Come on, as we explore more energy transformation in different forms. First is we have heat to light energy. The sun transforms nuclear energy into heat and light energy. Heat can be transferred by radiation, conduction, and convection. Heat radiates light and heat or solar energy, which makes it possible for life to exist on Earth. Plants need sunlight to grow. Animals, including humans, need plants for food and the oxygen they produce. Without heat from the sun, earth would freeze. Okay, so a while ago, we says that heat can also be transferred by radiation, conduction, and convection. Let us see an example of this. Okay, so let us see an illustration. Conduction is the transfer of thermal energy through direct contact. Convection is the transfer of thermal energy through the movement of a liquid or gas. And radiation is the transfer of thermal energy through thermal emission. Another example is chemical to mechanical energy. So, our bodies convert chemical energy in our food into mechanical energy for us to move. When people consume food, 
The body utilizes the chemical energy in the bonds of the food and transforms it into mechanical energy. Okay, now by this time, let us see how electrical energy transforms into kinetic energy. So, an electric fan transforms electrical energy into kinetic energy. A motor works when an electric current passes through a wire in a magnetic field. The wire turns and some of the electric energy is turned into kinetic energy. So, our example is the electric fan. Electric fan has motor that needs electricity to be able to function and produce kinetic energy. Now, do you understand what is transformation of energy? Okay, very good. Okay, so I have here a question. How heat can be transformed into light energy? Light energy into heat and electrical energy into sound energy. So energy transformation or energy conversion is the change in the forms of energy. Any form of energy can change into different form of energy. Like for example, Battery is an example of chemical energy. If we put it to a battery of ferrated flashlights, there is a conversion happen. The chemical energy transformed into light energy, which is it can be useful to human beings. Now, children, the question is, are we be able to transform heat energy into light energy and light energy into heat and then electrical energy into sound energy. So, let's give it a try. By these illustrations, it is able to transform heat energy from the sun being the source of heat and then light energy from the sun is being converted in electrical energy by a solar panel to generate electricity with solar cells or heat engines. And then, the generated electricity from the solar panel to electricity at home, such as television and radio. So now, the electrical energy is being transformed into sound energy and we use it for listening our radio and television at home. Okay, children, it seems that you already know our lesson. Let us summarize what we have learned today. Energy is all around us. Energy is the ability of an object to do work. Heat, light, sound, and electrical are all forms of energy. Heat can be transferred by radiation conduction, and convection. Sound is created by vibration and cannot travel through a vacuum. And energy can be transferred or transformed from one form to another. Energy transformation or energy conversion is the change in the forms of energy. Any form of energy can change into different form of energy. And energy can only be useful when it changes into different energy. Okay, children, let us try to answer the following energy transformation. Direction, write the energy transformation in the illustration below. Number one. From chemical energy to mechanical energy. Number two. From electrical energy to sound energy. And number three. From light energy to chemical energy. Okay, good job kids. You are now ready to explain what is energy transformation? And that's the end of our discussion for today. Thank you for watching and I am Teacher Mar 
and please don't forget to share and subscribe our YouTube channel and don't forget also to click the bell button to keep updated to our next lesson.